I guess I was a little over optimistic, assuming that all 10 of the commandments in this entire commandment story arc could be wrapped up neatly and nicely in season two. But it's very much seeming like, well, there's a good chunk of these guys that we're going to have to fight in season three. But the season three animation, I've been told, is absolutely horrendous. With that being said, I don't, I mean, to be honest, it's up to you guys whether I react to season three or I just read the manga on my own. So, like, I'm just, I just, I, all I know is I want to continue this show because, like, this is fantastic. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Seven Deadly Sins, episode 21, the last episode. I don't think it's official, but Meliodas had all seven of his hearts stabbed. As a demon, no matter how strong you are, you have all seven of your hearts stabbed, gone, all seven of them destroyed. You are a dead demon. But Elizabeth was screaming, crying, trying to heal him. Nothing was working. But then we immediately cut to like the future, us moving past his death. And I'm going to forget all that because we, we, we have no future without Meliodas. But we uh, ended the episode with the Holy Knight from season one who I had to go look up his name because I forgot it. It was, I don't know how to pronounce it. It was like Golgius or Golgus. And I remember him with the um, the weird fangs. Yeah, all of them when they were trying to fuck with Meliodas. That was when they introduced Bon. Um, he's back and he barely survived a crazy demon, but I don't know even how he survived, but somehow we're in the tavern. So I wanted them to tell us one, how we survived and two, how we got to the tavern. Because tavern equals Meliodas. But Elizabeth's there. So I don't know. Maybe she's hiding him. I have no idea. All I'm saying is if, remember, with certain shows like Seven Deadly Sins, I can't put the reaction here on YouTube. So please make sure to click that link in the description for the reaction, then come back here for the review. And remember, if you guys want to support the channel, but also get early access and full length to so the current shows I'm watching, but all the other shows I've watched as well, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. If Patreon's not really your style, if you guys could leave a like on the video and then leave a nice comment, something about nice about anime, nice about me, something nice about somebody you see in the comments. We're trying to spread positivity around here and all the comments and all the likes really do mean more than you guys know. So I appreciate y'all. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for my live streams and my Twitter. Let's hop into this Seven Deadly Sins Season 2, Episode 21. It's called A Certain Warmth. I was a bit of exposition that was an exposition dump kind of episode we have so much lore that we gathered which i'm i'm grateful for you know like it seems as if because dana fall was blown up in one fell swoop due to meliotis's uh, emotional explosion after the hands after elizabeth's death at the hands of fraudron but after that said explosion Zeratros and fucking Bartros's Bartra. I don't know. I kept saying Bartros. Damn it. I'm sorry for this entire episode. Bartra. Bartra and Zeratros, due to Bartra's ability to see the future, um, were, went to go check it out. And uh, Meliodas was there with a baby Elizabeth, which is kind of weird and not weird to me because, like, you know, like, technically. But it's it's not Elizabeth. Like we've we've been confirmed by the one of the fucking druid ladies. I forgot uh, Zaneri. It was Jenna, Theo, and Zaneri. I think it was Zaneri. It was the one who told us that Liz, is, like Elizabeth, is a reincarnation of Liz. Like not, it, like it's. I, I'm not gonna try to explain it because I don't know. But the thing I was saying is kind of weird and not weird is that Meliodas has a certain. I don't want to say attraction, like he's not like turned on by a baby, but he has a certain love that he knows is unwavering and he's going to love this baby until the day he dies. Of course, it's a different type of love because it, it sprouts and matures into, which is not weird because he loved the person who Elizabeth was before. That's what I'm saying is not weird. It's just weird. The whole baby phase. That's the only part where it's weird. Like Elizabeth had a, some sort of unnatural, not unnatural, but more attracted to him as a baby than anyone else which makes sense because you know that's somebody you know, it's just it's weird i'm not gonna go into it but i understand it is what i'm trying to say but i could see how non-anime watchers would be like what the fuck is going on there i can see how the normies that's my answer i can see how the normies especially in the heed might think that's weird 
But um, with that being said, this episode was fantastic. A lot of exposition. I'm trying to think of what else I, I figured out. I want to know the exact, I want to know everyone's commandments in the exact way. He said to dispel the commandments, you need to kill the person who has been, who had, it has been, we're going to try that again. You're going to kill the commandment who it has been bestowed upon and or die yourself, which is just interesting because like, what is Meliodas is he can't die. I want to know the exact name, but Zeldris is piety which I don't know what piety specifically means, but isn't pious, is piety like a, a version of pious or like a plural of pious or like the past tense? It's probably not, they just start with P-I, so that's why the reason I think that, because I know pious, being pious uh, is uh, being non-religious, stuff like that. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Piety definition. Uh, the quality of being religious or reverent. Oh, so it is being religious. A belief or point of view that is accepted uh, with thinking, uh, with unthinking conventional re reverence. Accepted pieties of our time. Interesting. Whereas if I were to search up pious, meaning pious, pious, devoutly religious. Oh, complete opposite of what I thought. I thought... I thought pious meant non-religious. Interesting. I'm an idiot, but it's okay. I'm just curious to find out what more of these commandments mean. Um, and to, to go deeper into this Esterosa fight, because like I said, this hyped it up so much for next episode. I'm about to hop into this next episode. I was an idiot throughout this whole discussion. I apologize. If you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know what you thought down below. Leave a like, because it means more than you know. And if you guys want to check out early access or full length of this episode or any other shows, check out that Patreon down below. Thank you, Dapper Squad. It's been your boy Dapper Darius. Have a wonderful day. Peace out, y'all.